this is the next project here this is a commercial 10a and I picked it up a few years ago the hood that came with it wasn't from this machine it says commercial 10 and basically this thing is was sitting outside in a field for who knows how long it could be 30 years for all I know but the uh, thing has basically a motor with a crankshaft sticking out there's no flywheel no carb no ignition no blower housing no stator no carb no exhaust nothing um, it's missing all the linkages for the PTO the Swiftmatic is missing all that crap I was able to acquire that on eBay a few years ago it needs a new throttle cable um, choke cable you name it it needs it probably but I had picked up a engine that's a 12 horse and I wanted to swap them out and put that on here because 12 is better than 10 and it's already a mutt to begin with so why not make it more of a mutt but that's the next project I took the head off of it a few years ago and measured the piston to see if it was actually a 10 horse or a 12 horse and it was a 10 and I'd rather have a 12 than a 10 so I figured that I have a 12 horse Kohler that I picked up a few years ago for 25 bucks that maybe I would attempt to get going and throw on here so let's go look at the 12 horse Kohler for a minute and we can check that out all right so this is the 12 horse Kohler that I got I got it at the gravely mowing when it was in Rhinebeck New York and it turns over like there's nothing wrong with it from that respect the head's not tight right now and I also have this other uh, 10 horse over here that I had put a brand new coil on it has a starter it's got a carburetor it's got everything so what I was hoping is that between the two of these motors I could make a good 12 horse and uh, you know put it together so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is come over to this 12 here and take the head off and just measure the piston bore make sure it really is a 12 I'm 99.9% .9 sure it is but you never know All right, let's see here I had taken this head off at some point in time now I got to get a tool to loosen these bolts they're kind of hand tight but they're rusted in there so let's take it apart and see what's under this mess okay so here it is and let's see it needs a little cleaning up but it turns over freely and the, the bore doesn't actually look very bad at all um let's see if the piston has any markings on it i like to see if they're been rebuilt already or or not head gasket sweet and also there's a head bolt that's broken off over here next to the exhaust that probably was there from the DPO it has a little bit of shit hanging up so I might be able to weld a nut on there or something but the important question is what's the bore diameter and the 12 horse should be 3 and 3 eighths so let me see if I can uh, get that measured here with my little caliper and let's see okay what are we at 3.35 that's not a very good reading but let me do this off cam and we'll verify this well I come up with 3.35 and that's just with this thing like nothing too official yeah so it should be 3.25 if it's a 10 horse and yeah that's not cool so let me let me uh try this again first of all let me make sure this thing was actually on zero and it, it is so hmm that's strange huh let's see here and there is a little bit of a, a ridge in there that this thing would be kind of like hung up on but even if there's a ridge that should be kind of like where you were from the factory and it says 3.35 uh, I got two other engines here on my shelf that I know are 12 horses 
and one is a Magnum and one is a K series, but it doesn't matter. They both should have the same size bores. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to measure one of these with my caliper here and see kind of where it's at compared to where that other one's at. So oh, there's too much junk in the way here. Let's see. Put this in here. Yeah, I think that's right in the middle. Let's see what we come out with. Oh, shit. It wasn't zeroed out right. Let me do this off cam. Be right back. All right, so this one comes out at 3.345, so it must be a 12 force. And uh, let me try the other one, and we'll see what that one reads. The other one is 3.346, so I think we do have a 12. And back over to my engine here that we're working on, it's 347, so it is a 12, I was right. But really, I think the first order of business is, can we get that broken head bolt out or not? And that's going to be the hardest part of this job, I think, you know? So in the meantime, what I'd like to do is, like, clean up all this crap off the outside of this engine. It's just covered with rusty, dirty grime, and I figured that, you know, this coil I'm just going to throw in the garbage. So maybe I'll try to take off the blower housing and, uh, you know, just kind of strip this down a little bit farther. And uh, I don't have time to dick with this bolt right now, but... Um, I do like this concept of kind of welding a nut on there and uh, You know there is a little bit of meat there, so that's a good sign and uh, Maybe that's what we'll try and I think if I wire brush all this Area here on the the head if you will that all that shit that's on there will come off and We'll probably have a salvageable engine. Oh Look, there's actually oil in it that looks black, so that's a good sign. And it's right up to the full mark, too. That's pretty funny. Uh, it's missing an adopter plate, but I can just pull that off the engine that I'm going to take off the other tractor. That's not a big deal, you know. So I'll see if I can clean this up and, you know, maybe even shoot it with some red paint. Um, I don't know if the stator's any good. These wires are here, a little crusty, but anyways, that's where we're at.